delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen for another muddled up video. That's right, we're gonna make another drink. Here we go. Today, for Christmas parties, we're gonna make some spiked eggnog. And this is the homemade eggnog. Did I hear something about spiked eggnog? Yes, ma'am, <laughs> you did. Hi. I don't normally keep people stacked under my table, but for sometimes, I guess it's just fun. Are you organizing my shelf? I'm waiting for Christmas. Are you the elf on the shelf that organizes my kitchen? I'm a bench elf on the shelf. I'm here to help you. I like that. Here, shake this. So this is my homemade eggnog. <laughs> You can find the link to that video down below. We're sober. I swear. Okay. I'm here to help. <laughs> She's here to help. So this is a Simply Spiced Eggnog. This is one of the easiest ones you can do once you've made your eggnog. Um, it is so worth it to make your homemade eggnog. Have you ever had homemade eggnog? Just hear the sleigh bells ring a ling ting no. ting ting a ling do. So is that a no? That's a no. Okay, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm not, but I'm gonna tell you, you've never really had like a good eggnog unless you've had Probably not. So I hope that this blows your mind. We need Blow. two ounces. This is spiced rum. Spiced rum, any spiced rum that you like. Um, this is Kraken, the Kraken. All I want for Christmas is you. Here I am, now what? <laughs> Keep yes. making the drink? Okay, okay. yep, got it. Okay, uh, this is my good friend Sherilyn Baker, Makeup Hi. University. She's in town to do an event with me and we are having some fun in my kitchen. The next thing we're gonna do, if you would like to measure it, 10 ounces of eggnog, perfectly fine. We're just gonna take it now that she's shaken it up really well. And we're just going to top off our glasses. Don't, don't take it yet. This might not be enough. I'm gonna have to go get some more. Nah, they give me that one. No, we gotta, it's gotta be, it's gotta be right. So, okay. um, you, you, uh, chit chat for a second. All right, there's so many benefits for why to make your own eggnog is because one of the main premises of Left Make Food from Food, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, <laughs> is that there's so many preservatives and you, your health, your mental well being, your family are worth putting wholesome foods into your body. Yes, so. Ma'am. That is why you go through the couple extra steps to make your own eggnog. And truly, it's just a couple extra steps. And it's so worth it. Okay, you know what this is? Nutmeg. Nutmeg? It's part of it. I, I didn't even shred any of my finger on this little nut, but I might now. Mm. So we're just going to grate a little bit of nutmeg. Now, if you're not a big fan of nutmeg, the other thing you can use is cinnamon. They work equally well. Cinnamon stick or yes. grate the cinnamon. Have you met me? I just got here. <laughs> always that prefer, would be a That would be a grating. Always prefer to grate it. Now, there's no shame in anybody's game if you don't have the time, the energy, or the desire to grate it. Take it that you, however you gotta go about your day, right? Okay. The whole point of this is to make the information available to people, but not to shame them for their choices. So did you make that rum? Because um, I can help you make rum. I feel like that's Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> That's a whole nother episode <laughs> okay. that I feel like we should make. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Cheers. So and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday season. Here we go. Oh, wow. Right? Wow. It's it's truly the homemade Whoa. eggnog. Whoa. I've had these before with store-bought eggnog, and there is nothing. It does not compare. Why is it not slimy? <laughs> you guys. I left out the slug today. I was <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Every single year, holiday time, Christmas, usually starts at Thanksgiving. My family loves eggnog. I will tell the truth, and nothing but the truth, that I don't make my own eggnog. My family loves it. I buy a carton from the grocery store, get it down at the Ralph's, the Kroger's, and it always is, uh, 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 it's a little slimy. I've this always is bought it so until recently. Flavorful and rich, and it has like a really luxurious texture to it. It's creamy, and you know what that is? That's the egg whites. So you separate your yolks and mm. make your eggnog. You can then take your egg whites with a little bit of sugar, whip them until there's peaks, kind of like a meringue. Then you have two options. You can fold it back into your eggnog, or if you're serving it right away, you can spoon it on top of your drink as a topping and then. Oh my god. But I find it it's creamier. It's your creamy. eggnog's creamier if you put it in and then you're using the whole egg. It has a texture similar to a milkshake without being like a thick, cold milkshake. That's what the sipping texture is like. It's like a milkshake. And then you have the nutmeg on top that's fresh. It's fragrant. 
I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical, but you know, I'm, one, I'm gonna take one for the team. She, yeah, um, she trusts me a little too much. It's so good. I just, what if, what if just while somebody doesn't like rum, they're allergic to rum, they don't wanna do spiced rum or rum, what's, what's the options? Well, we're gonna go back and look at the eggnog amaretto episode. Ah, ooh, mm, it's delicious. amaretto, sounds good. Eggnog amaretto, it's another simple one. Um, I believe I had it a few weeks ago. Um, so if you, I'll go ahead and put the link to that one down below in case you missed it. Um, but eggnog amaretto is a good one. Another one, you can take this drink right here and just add another two ounces of brandy. So you do the rum and the brandy. I'm so sorry I don't have any brandy. Oh, okay. Well, it is really delicious and I really, really <laughs> liked it. And I would not, we've talked about this before, total bunny trail while she's sipping. Have you ever watched YouTubers and they get a product and they're like, oh my gosh, I just so totally love it. This is the best stuff ever. And you already know, you're like, that stuff is bunk. Mm -hmm. But maybe they were paid or whatever. And yeah. you feel like you can't really trust what they're saying. Right. So um, when I said I'd come help, no holes barred, nothing but the truth. It's really good. It's really good. I really like it. Do you like my tree? I added some ornaments. <laughs> I do like the tree. I was talking to them. Oh. It's reason for the season. Let's go. Let's I like celebrate. your hat. Thank you. Just here to help. I feel like I should have a hat. And I would you should have a hat. Who lazy. doesn't like a silly hat? I'll get one. I still have more Christmas videos to go. Okay. Okay. I'll play the practice. All right. Well, thanks for joining us here today in Muddled Up. Sherilyn Baker, Makeup University. Check out her channel. Consider a subscribe for her. From my kitchen to yours, thanks for getting muddled up and happy holidays. That's one boy.